The period of Chinese history from 1916 to 1928 is often referred to as the Warlord Era, a time when the country was divided into many regions ruled by various warlords. During this time, the central government was weak, and local military leaders held most of the power. One of the most significant conflicts during this period was the Jili and Hui War, fought between two powerful warlords who were vying for control of China. The Jili Anhui War began in 1920 when the warlord of Jili, Feng Yuxang, and the warlord of Anhui, Duan Kurui, had a falling out over power and territory. The two sides were evenly matched, and both had significant military forces under their command. The conflict quickly escalated into a full-blown war that lasted for several years and involved battles across northern China. The war was fought in a series of campaigns, and the fortunes of each side varied. At times, it seemed as though one side or the other had the upper hand, but the conflict remained in a stalemate for most of its duration. The fighting was often brutal, with both sides committing atrocities against civilians and prisoners of war. Eventually, a coalition of warlords from the south of China was able to intervene and bring an end to the conflict. They brokered a peace deal between Feng and Duan, which divided the country into several regions, each controlled by a different warlord. This arrangement effectively ended the Jili Anhui War, but it did not bring an end to the warlord era. The Jili Anhui War was significant because it highlighted the weakness of the central government and the fragmentation of China during this time. It also demonstrated the willingness of warlords to engage in large-scale conflicts to protect their interests and expand their power. The war was fought with modern weapons and tactics, marking a significant departure from the traditional methods of Chinese warfare. In conclusion, the Jili Anhui War was a significant conflict fought during the warlord era in China. The war was fought between two powerful warlords vying for control of the country and was marked by brutality and atrocities. The war ended in a stalemate and led to the partition of China into several regions controlled by different warlords. While the conflict demonstrated the weakness of the central government and the fragmentation of China during this time, it also showed the willingness of warlords to engage in modern warfare to protect their interests and expand their power.